Okay guys, so for the earrings, you are going to need a couple of eye pins, a couple of head pins, your assortment of beads, a couple of ear wires, and then I have some um, bead caps. So on the eye pin, you're going to thread on, I chose to do a pattern with two rondelles and this rondelle spacer bead that's got rhinestones, just because I thought it looked really pretty. So I'm going to do one of those and another rondelle. So that's my pattern. And then I am just going to do a simple loop on this one. So you're just going to take it and you're going to, I move up just the teeniest, tiniest bit, not even, not even really that much. Um, just so you have some room so you don't crush your rondelle and turn it to a 90 degree angle and then snip and I usually give myself about the end of my finger maybe just a little less pushing on it a little bit and then you take your your round nose pliers and you turn a loop sorry and sometimes you will have to um, sometimes you'll have to adjust it just a tad because it'll get twisted. So there's a loop and a loop. <laughs> then make sure that your loops are the same direction. There we go. <laughs> So there's one, then I'm going to do the other, same pattern, and like say, um, turn it at a 90 degree angle, then snip it off. I'm going to give myself just a little bit more room this time because I don't really like how tiny the last one was. Snip that off. Then turn yourself a loop again. Sorry, guys. And once you've got your loop completed, you can adjust it a little bit if you need to. And then just make sure that your loops are facing the same direction. And you've got your tops. Then I'm going to use these melon beads. Give me just a second, guys. Sorry, my allergies are killing me. Uh, my nose was running. So then I'm going to take these head pins. And I'm going to put on a bead cap. Making sure I go through that center hole of the bead cap. Then I'm going to thread on one of these melon beads and then put a bead cap on top of that. And for these um, dangles, I'm actually going to wire up these. So I'm going to put my um, chain nose pliers here at the top of that bead. And I'm going to bend this over a 90 degree angle. Then come in with my round nose pliers. And make sure your bead cap doesn't do just what mine just did. And it stays on. And then you're going to come up and over. Come over the bead and all the way around. So that it looks like that. And then I use my chain nose pliers, or actually I'm going to use my bent nose pliers because I like them better for this part. And I'm going to pull that tight all the way up there. So it looks like that. And then I will bend it over the back. And then just start coming around in a wrap. And if it's kind of loose, you can pinch it with your bent nose pliers and it will 
make it more uniform. So just like that. And then you want to snip off any extra that you have as close to the bead as you can get. And then just continue to fold that over as much as you can. And tuck it as well as you can. Then I'm going to straighten up my top loop here just a tad and I have a dangle. So then I'm going to make this other one. Add your bead cap. And see I did not, oh I did get in the right hole. I thought for sure I didn't. Now these little bead caps I will show you sometimes have these little um, uncut pieces left on them. So you've got a piece there. If you will just wiggle that back and forth, it will fall off. You just have to make sure you do it long enough so that it falls off. And then that way you won't have those little pieces that stick up. These bead caps are just a little bit testy. They're filigree, so they're really thin. And sometimes they don't always get punched all the way. So there's that. I'm going to fold this over at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to come in with my round nose pliers. And I'm going to go up and over the top. Twist it. And continuing around the bead. Until you meet up with the other side. Then, like this had too much of a bend in it, so I'll bend it back just a little bit. Then you're left with this. I'm going to take my chain nose pliers. I'm going to come in here and go around. And like say, if it doesn't sit down right the way it should, just uh, squeeze it, sorry guys, with your chain nose players or your bent nose like I'm using. Sorry. And like say, this is why I like to use my bit nose it will kind of guide it around the wire for you and then you're going to snip off as much of the extra as you can and continue around until it's fully folded in just make sure it's pinched really well and we've got a second day goal so then I'm going to take my little links here and I'm going to open this bottom link and I'm going to thread on one of these drops so that it looks like that. Same thing on the other side. Open this bottom here. Thread on this link. Close it up. Oops. Close it up really well. And then I'm also going to put on some of these ear wires. These are the ear wires that came in the Bargain Bee box this month. And I really like them. They're very simple and cute. Now, I'm not normally a gold fan, but 
I do like these ear water wires that came. So once that's done, just do your other one. And close them up. Then something I do, here's your earrings. <clears throat> and let me, <clears throat> I'm going to grab a earring um, card. And I'm going to put them on there so that you can look at them. So here's your earrings. I think they're very pretty. I think they go with that necklace very well. But I was going to mention, these are very easy to fall out because they're wide on the um, ear wire section. So I have this little tool that I use um, for these. I think I do. Okay, so what I normally use is a um, one of those little uh, touch things. It's got the, the little touch end here on it. Stylus, that's what they're called. Um, it's a little stylus. I have no clue what I've done with it right now. My desk is a wreck. Um, but since I can't find that one, we will improvise. So if you'll get yourself a pen, just any pen, and you'll put your ear wires on them, onto your pen, you want to find a, a fairly slim one, as slim as you can get it anyways. And actually, this pen's pretty wide, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to match these up together on the pen, and then I take the other side here and I clench it down so it gives you a more tightened fish hook and then just slide it off so then see what I did it clenched those down so they will stay a little bit better in your ear but then when you hook them on to your ear or to your, or to your card that's how they will look I think those are very pretty. So that's all for the earrings. I just did simple dangly ones. I'm very happy with the result. And I think they will look beautiful with that necklace. Here's that necklace again. And actually, hold on. Let me take you out of the stand and I'll show it to you. So here's that necklace again. And then here are the earrings that's going to go with this necklace. So that's everything um, for your earring tutorial. Thank you all for watching. And to all of you who haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing if you like what you saw. All right. I will see you on the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.